Hello, boys. All right. <clears throat> this is it, guys. Today for sure. It's the champion this time. Okay. So here's what we're doing, guys. This is it. We've got two minutes left. Just two minutes left. We're going to go ahead and load it up. Who is who are we getting first? Who who are we coming out with first? Place your bets. We've got Ziggs, Vigar, Senna, Sion, Caitlyn, and Zareth. <laughs> These are all confirmed. Did the hackers on Reddit really actually confirm that we'd have it today? Let's see what we got. We got the refresh. All right, we got some of the reveals, not all of them. They're rolling in one at a time. They're, the page is literally loading. Oh God, there's no champion yet. It'll be these first three. It'll be these first three, Copium. The po Look at this Poppy support cards. It's gotta be Poppy. It's gotta be Poppy. The Twitter page, here we go. It's always, it's always Poppy here. Oh, all right, Poppy! team, adventure time. Today's the day I find- All right, Poppy, four mana, Demacia, Banjal, Yordle. 4-3, attack, grant me and all allies with equal or less power than me, plus one, plus one. And levels up when you've attacked three times. That's really interesting. So you want like a little token kind of strategy? She buffs hero. the weak ones. That's cute. I can spend a whole fight wondering shield or hammer. Tiny shield. You'll okay. never know what Was hit that a zero meta plus zero plus one? Grand buff? Yeah, yeah, it's permanent buff, guys. For justice, it's like aggro Demacia. Demacia. It'll be, she's a fast Demacia card. It's like MF Scout, side. kind of. We just play a lot sure of cheap units. Do this? Oh, does she, does she hit him like back to hand or something? Oh, she does. What do you see up there, Pip? For the All right, Yordle Ranger. A six mana five, five Scout, Demacia Bandle, Yordle. Attack, grant me and all allies with equal or less power than me plus one health so it's another permanent buff equal or less power than me so i mean if you give this a buff it'll it'll have like an easier time hitting that it's got the yordle keyword Shining again ruins the recon. Striking their flank. Dude, the fact that it's got the scout attack too like it can give that buff twice we got this is this what we're doing we're just playing mf poppy <laughs> Break their ranks. Better Quinn. I will say it. MF never really needed Quinn. Bobby, reminds the pompous cavalier. A three mana one one with double attack. Double attack is a dangerous keyword for a three mana unit. Okay, okay. That's a that's a crazy buff target. Hero beyond this very field. Huh? I sure hope so. Let me know if you find him. <laughs> Hope you're sturdy. <laughs> Wait, did I Guess that he right? wasn't the we'll, hero. We'll see that, we'll see that card after. All right, Yordle Smith, <laughs> two mana, two two. Attack all allies with equal or less power than me. Quick deck this round. Woo! Okay, so if you buff this. Then every everything's getting quick We're attack. And you can fry a ferret. And it always gives itself quick attack. Remember what I told you? Swing low, send him sky high. I'll make you proud. No hero, huh? Guess I'll finish this one. Okay, okay. New keyword impact, yeah. Impact is just when it strikes while attacking deals one to the Nexus. Now, with Poppy's level up, she gains impact, and when she attacks, all of her allies get plus two, plus two in impact. It's still a grant. When leveled Poppy attacks, all of the allies gain gr permanently plus two, plus two in impact. I, I should move my head for this because I'm just realizing that I was kind of covering it a little bit. But look how hype this is, huh? New impact stacks every attack? Yeah, exactly. I mean, hopefully you don't need more than one attack here. Alright, that's not bad. On to the next that's one. not bad. Alright. Oh, and they show us all the cards at the end. This is so nice of them. Hang on. Let me... I'm just gonna cover up. I'm gonna go to the upper right. You can see heroic... Oh, God. There's no room for me. Hang on. Oh, where do I fit? Oh, I can just... I can... I can fit inside Poppy. Okay. Ah, oh, that's perfect. I'm safe. All right, I'm not covering anything. Okay, okay. Heroic charge. A five mana slow, 
An ally strikes an enemy. If it survives, stun it. Yeah, yeah. That's the one we saw before. That's interesting. It's it's sort of like the slow speed is going to be a little bit awkward and you're not going to want the stun there. Presum is this Poppy's champion spell? We're about to find out. Poppy herself looks really good. Uh, then we've got, out of the ones we haven't seen yet, the Yordle Squire, which creates the tiny shield or the tiny spear. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> The Yordle Squire is a one mana two one bandal pure bandal card, and yeah, it just like chooses which one you want in your hand, and it, presumably the opponent can't see. Uh, not that it matters too much since it's focus speed, but that's pretty cool. So basically, at focus speed, you can either give it plus one attack or plus one health, which really isn't bad when it's attached to a two one body that's giving a free card. That's really 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 solid, right? Like the Yordle Squire is. Like, you're not going out of your way for this, right? Like, keep in mind, it's like Treasure Seeker, where it gives you a card. It's not amazing, but it's a solid free card, and it's a 1-mana 2-1 body, which is premium in Runeterra. So, Yordle Squire looks really, really good. Uh, overall, this archetype is looking pretty solid. I don't know if you're going to use all of these cards, but Poppy herself, the fact that she's buffing all allies with equal or less power than her, does she Does she buff herself as well? I wasn't 100% sure. She does, right? You'll never know what hit him. Oh, that's so great. She buffs herself as well. Dude, what the hell? Like, that... Isn't that nuts? Isn't that crazy? She buffs herself as well? So, she's a 4 mana 4-3. Four but when she attacks, she always buffs herself no matter what. So, she's always a 5-4. Already. No matter what. I've attacked with allies three times. She's gonna be hard to level. She's going to be hard to level, but she always buffs your entire board. So she's kind of like a bannerman is kind of the easiest comparison. Like Poppy's kind of similar to a Vanguard bannerman where you're just getting free value, right? Like you're buffing the entire board. Uh, and if you can keep her alive, then you can level her up. And that's just like giving ridiculous value. If she's even attacking twice, she's giving substantially more valuable than a bannerman. Not even attacking allies. Yeah, exactly. Is, is she just buffs everything, even the black, even the back line. So anything that you're leaving behind, she's buffing. If you give her scout with like field promotion, that's obviously good. But field promotion, I don't think is is really going to be the card you want to run with Poppy. Um, this is this is actually pretty cool. Better Bannerman. She's kind of like a better Shivana. So a Bannerman without the deck building cost is big. Instead of having like the modern region deck building cost, she sort of has like the champion deck building cost, right? She takes the champ slot away from Quinn, but she opens up deck building slots in terms of like where you're going to have the rest of the board, which is really, really nice. And you have access to, you don't have to be in like Bandle City cards for it to work. This looks pretty solid. She can also maybe be ran in like a, a Bandle deck just as a bandle card i could see like there's a lot of support kind of synergy decks that just go wide with a bunch of units think like mm, i mean we haven't really seen anything that's been super competitive in the past but like lulu picks kind of stuff like we know i i think picks i i guess we don't know if picks is going to be a bandle card um i know they retroactively made picks like a fey but it might not make it like a bandle card but a lot of like the support archetypes like bandle will have a lot of like cheap units so it's very, very possible you could try running Poppy just like as a solid Bandle card in a light deck like that. I think that probably will have a little bit less of a chance of being super good than like a Demacia Bannerman deck. But for the most part, Poppy has a lot of potential. Again, I can't stress enough how important dual region is, right? Like when you're looking at deck building, there's so many cards that would be kind of good if they had the ability to be run in multiple regions. Like she has so much freedom. The, the ability to run her in either Demacia or Bandal is really, really, really huge. Is super, super big. Her, champ her level up is difficult. Her level up is going to be very difficult though. Her level up is going to be very difficult. All right. So we'll have to see exactly how this looks. It looks like uh, some of you guys are saying there's more cards than Mobilitics. Is that true? Is that, oh, is that actually true? Let's see it. Is there something we're missing out on? So yeah, there's Verdict. This is her champ spell that it wasn't shown in the video. Verdict is a six mana slow, place an enemy unit on top of the enemy's deck. That's it. So it's basically, huh what so and that's and that's what poppy does in league she literally hits you with her hammer and sends you into fucking yesterday like so basically it's just a way of kind of like soft removing something at slow speed 
it doesn't really look like it's going to be good. I mean, I think six mana is probably a fair cost for this card because, you know, uh, when you compare it to Vengeance, it's not quite as good because they're drawing it again. When you compare it to Will of Ionia, it's quite a bit better since it's losing them a draw. Six speed is a very fair cost for this card, but at slow, it might be a little bit awkward. That being said, as a champ spell, it won't be completely useless. This is the kind of card that'll be a little bit too clunky to probably want to main deck. But as a champ spell, I think it's solid, right? Like, I don't think there's going to be any problems with this as a champ spell. Like, it's it's sort of like, it has the ability to hard remove a lot of things, even if it gives it back to them. There's a lot of applications for that. And Bandal City, as far as we know, doesn't really have other forms of removal. So I like, I like Verdict. It's more of a champ spell than a main deck, in my opinion. We'll have to see. Kuvira thinks it's insane. Oh, Kuvira, you like this card? What do you, like, what, what, what are the spots? What else is there? Stress defense. And this, this is the one that I didn't uh, quite see in the video. Yeah, that's what I thought it said. I thought it said set of unit stats to one six this round. All right, that's really funny. <laughs> oh my God. Set of units, that's the one six this round. There's, how, how do you even use that? You can buff Bubble Bear. You can give him one attack. <laughs> All right. I mean, what what are you supposed to do with this? Like, you can basically protect your things. It, it's mostly a way of, like, stopping big enemy threats for the most part. Like, when they use atrocity or something like that, when they use... It's like a, it's like a flash freeze, right? It'll be a pretty effective flash freeze in a lot of cases at three mana. And on top of that, you can use it on your own unit to protect it. This is actually super powerful. This card's nuts. This card's like actually insane. What? This is like, this is probably the strongest Bandle City card we've seen so far. That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, stress defense is absolutely insane. Holy shit. What? Because you can use this on your allies or the opponents. This is a crazy card. This card is absolutely nuts. This is, I, th I think, stress defense. I didn't realize this was a Bandle City card. I, it, like, I looked at first, like, I, it, like, I saw, like, Damasia colors. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a Bandle City card. This is definitely their, their best card so far. Like, you will use this in most kinds of decks. So the reason this card is so good is because it's just got ridiculous flexibility, right? It's sort of like three sisters, but three mana. It's, it's sort of, it's kind of like three sisters, but three mana, a little bit. You, yeah, it has flexibility. So... You can use it as a flash freeze on the opponent's unit if they go in for an atrocity if they go in for a big scary overwhelm attack and it'll set them to one attack right which is almost as good as a flash freeze it's not quite and it gives them health sometimes which can be a bad thing because there are some cases where like you want to do a flash freeze block on like a draven but it would give them health so that wouldn't work sure it's not as good as a flash freeze but it for for the most Moist. part will get the job done in addition to that in addition to that you can use it to protect your own units, right? Like any time the opponent plays a removal spell, like imagine they go in to remove your Teemo, you just use stress defense. That's expensive for like a Teemo. But in any case, the opponent uses a removal spell, you can give it like plus four health, right? Or plus three health. Like making it have six health will protect it against basically any removal spell. Like that's crazy, right? It's kind of like a better whimsy it's well it's a much it's much better than whimsy because it affects champions right like whimsy is inherently like immediately disqualified as being a good card because it affects champions right stress defense is really good on units with strike effects like river shaper yeah because it'll protect their health while making sure that they can go to combat right like sometimes if, if they like minus attack your river shaper it has the opportunity to nut out in a, in a case where like you attack with the river shaper this is a edge case, but like that's this is the Omega nuts where you attack with the River Shaper, they block with like a troll chant or something, and then you stress defense, which not only allows your River Shaper to strike, but it allows is it keeps them alive through the combat. Like that would be crazy. It's like a ravenous flock counter. This is a good ravenous flock counter too. This card's really, really good. This card's really, really good. Now, we don't know exactly know how Bandle City is going to play out as a region yet. So we don't know exactly how good this card is going to be. It might not be a three of in decks, but it's a card that will hit a lot of decks. For this card to be good, you want to be playing at sort of like a medium speed deck. You want a deck that like wants the ability to stay alive through the opponent's threats while also like protecting your own units. And that does look like it'll fit pretty well with what Bandle does. This card's super, super, super good. Stress defense. All right. Yeah, you'll use this. You'll use this one in a lot of decks. All right. 
and yeah, yeah so that's today's reveals in a nutshell let's go ahead and give the uh the final again these are still initial impressions but uh let, let's start let's start from the back here let's work our way back yordle squire i think yordle squire is going to be really solid i mean a one mana two one is a good card it's got the yordle keyword which we still don't know what it'll do yet the yordle keyword is really common so i can't imagine it's going to be super valuable it might not even do anything it might just get searched by some random things but either way you know a little bit of a bonus and you're just getting a free thing right like depending on the deck you can use this as a discard target it counts as a created card for like for example if you're running that new card hidden pathways which is really good it hey it just counts as a created card for free right like worst case scenario this is a one mana two one with an upside which is kind of all you need right even though these are focus speed they're kind of balanced around that so that's fine heroic charge doesn't look that great to me um again the slow speed spell is kind of a killer you the ability for this to be a potential stun i think is a little lacking right like we've had like five mana slow strikes before we see them in siphoning strike which isn't very good as a card siphoning strike hasn't really been ran and we also see it in wild claws which also hasn't really been ran now siphoning strike some of you guys will point out siphoning strike is actually a great champ spell when you're playing like nasus thresh if you double draw nasus you're actually not unhappy there's a lot of situations where siphoning strike is good but that's it as a champ spell and not as a main deck and that's because it'll always be enabled when your nasus is on the board right so it's a very very different thing as a champ spell for the most part five mana slow strike an enemy isn't really that good and the additional effect that this has to potentially stun something stunning something on a single exchange like pre-combat for five mana isn't usually going to be nuts right like we can see uh like for example like malphite's stun card uh the spell that does so is a fast speed spell uh ground slam and this one is kind of similar because it deals damage and it stuns and you're never really going to be able to use both of those effects but it's damage that could be a stun on a bigger unit if the damage is not enough and it's a sort of similar thing but ground slam can kind of get away with it ground slam's not a bad card it really isn't but the fact that this one's slow means the stun isn't really going to be as useful right so yeah heroic charge i don't think is going to be good stress defense as i said is nuts yordle smith looks pretty popping this one's a bandal only card so you can't run it in like the demacia mf kind of uh, the poppy mf scouts kind of deck if that ends up being a thing but the fact that this one uh gives quick attack to itself and gives quick attack to everything is really really sweet and for the most part this card is going to be a really good buff target right like another interesting thing about this is well i guess i guess the attack order doesn't matter right? i was just about to say if poppy attacks on the left side then she'll grant it the stats first and then it will grant more quick attacks but if you think about it for more than like a second that doesn't make any sense I'm at basically all basically one eighth gay <laughs> but yeah 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 so for the most part yordle smith looks really high potential like you want to be able to attack and giving your quick attack is a really really premium keyword of course like we can see it kind of dominating the meta right now and that's a little nuts yo garen noto thanks for the uh, thanks for the prime sub dude i really appreciate that all right next we've got pompous cavalier which this is potentially a scary card for a couple of reasons a couple of reasons of course it's a cheap card that has double attack right which means it's a combo piece it's a card you want to give some grant buffs to and to make it nut out and go crazy right um here's the thing here's what makes this card truly scary given those properties that it's dual region it is it is not only a good I'm buff target one that day. can work with like otk things and i don't know if it'll hit decks right away but on top of being a good buff target that wants to be ran in a very specific kind of deck to make sense it also has double the ability to be ran in decks because it is a dual region card now to be able to make double attack good you will need to give it no matter what you will need to give it either elusive or overwhelm period period now it's got some freedom of use um Demacia is not going to be able to give it elusive we do know there's a bandle card that just showed yesterday shell game which can give an elusive although i think shell game might be a little too awkward for it the fact that it's in region is nice for the most part it's likely that your elusive or your overwhelm is going to want to come from the second region on this one but it's really not bad i mean both bandle and Demacia have some things that are good for this kind of card Demacia has a lot of permanent health health buffs like the grants um that can lead to like otk combos and we can see that you know bandle has a lot of like gimmicky cards that could actually support something like this so overall i think this one has potential um 
I don't know if this will if this is like on my top list or anything if it'll hit decks right away some people will point out that if you use um if you use uh the scout card the um it's 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 escaping me the badge the pro field promotion some people will point out if you use field promotion then you're effectively redoubling up on this effect you're, you're getting a doubled up on your double because your scout attack is doing a double attack and that'll be really cool in theory unfortunately the health pool in rune terra is a little too low for that to make sense mathematically for the most part you just want to combine it with either elusive or overwhelm and give it stats right like multiplication you, you you can combine like multiplication with multiplication but you'd rather combine multiplication with addition right you'd rather give it a decent number for its initial times two to hit value with than just give it another times two because then you're spending things that aren't on the initial number but this card really wants to be used with like a combo like might right like um that that's kind of where i see it you do like a might combo uh might being you know the noxus card that we all might have forgotten about um but this this kind of combo if you give it i mean what is it what does it need like 10 attack to be quite good you give it some like some gimmicky attack buffs a uh, little bit of protection maybe if you have the ability and you can do some cute stuff with that one pompous could look great in like a lulu bandolionia deck lulu is not going to want to run this kind of card i think um yeah it would it would really surprise me if lulu ended up running pompous cavalier um for the most part i mean it's in region it looks like it's a good buff target but it's only good to give plus attack to if you're only giving it elusive it's got a good stat line to give lulu buff to but it's not on curve with lulu and the bigger problem is lulu giving a buff to a double attack unit doesn't mean anything they're gonna chump lock it unless it has elusive in which case you need ghost and you're not using your ghost on your lulu you're losing it you're using it on this instead another problem with running this card in a lulu deck is that the way lulu decks want to work is they want to go wide with elusives and not give the opponent a single good removal target in this case you're stacking a little bit too much of your value on one unit so that when they do you know they're looking down at a hand that has like a palm or has like a will of ionia or something like that like a single answer uh even like a you know a mystic shot a double mystic shot or something like that right like if they have a single answer they're gonna be able to just use it on a big unit you want to basically floor their value uh or you want to give a ceiling to their value i guess is a better way of saying it um by going wide and not going tall and pompous cavalier doesn't fit a strategy like that then we've got yordle ranger grant me and all allies with equal or less power than me plus zero plus one this one looks and it's got scout attack as well so it's kind of like um you can compare this to great horn companion it comes down a turn later a better comparison would probably be uh genevieve they're coming down on the same turn wait why are there so many genes is one of the artists named gene oh regeneration duh <laughs> genevieve elmhart so it, this is basically it's an even better stat line it's the it's the same the same mana cost an even better stat line but instead of giving other allies plus one plus one this round what this card does is without challenger it grants all allies with equal power than me one health basically this is much worse than genevieve like <laughs> like actually like actually much worse uh the challenger is actually really important with genevieve scout and challenger together is a really important keyword combination i think a, not not a lot of people realize actually actually how useless the scout keyword is if you don't combine it with another keyword like the scout keyword is really good when you combine it with challenger or when you combine it with vulnerable which is the same thing when you combine it with even barrier in some cases although you usually don't do that because green fang warden isn't a card or when you combine it with like elusive or overwhelm or something or, or i guess last breath even because grizzled ranger makes the scout attack make sense but scout as a keyword has a really hard time making sense without something else going on right like it needs to be doing something to keep itself alive from its first attack otherwise it's kind of wasted and i think a lot of people forget that because most scouts in this game are designed like even razor scale hunter grants an enemy vulnerable most scouts in this game are designed and even king jarvan when he gives scout he also gives them challenger like scouts are good because they come with that and that's part of the reason why quinn is good because her valor which is the main reason you're playing quinn comes with challenger as well right so that's the big thing that that's the big thing about this card uh for the most part i don't know if this will be as good as some of the other options 
um ju just because genevieve will probably outclass this but this one's a bandle card so you could run this in bandle decks that are looking to trigger the scout uh and maybe there's a chance that if you want to run like the bandle tree deck that's going for the exodia of all 10 regions maybe this could possibly end up being your demasi option that seems a little unlikely overall it's got potential but it feels like genevieve will probably be better if you want that kind of thing then we've got keeper's verdict i honestly i have no idea kuvira was in chat a while ago saying he thinks this card is insane i can't imagine what he's smoking um i mean i i <laughs> i mean i don't think it's terrible like i said it will be okay to get off of like a champ spell i mean kuvira what's the argument right smoking literal copium like I, I i think it's not a, a lot of spells are kind of like fine as long as they're champ spells um but you wouldn't want to main deck them but in this case i don't think there's i don't think there's enough of a reason to go for the slow speed thing denying a draw yeah i mean denying a draw isn't useless like denying a draw has real value in a lot of cases like you're you're removing outs but basically we don't really have enough of a reason to play like a six mana slow thing right like the fact that they draw it again means like on the, the things you want to remove as like valuable threats right it's it's not going to be able to do that quite as well right it's kind of like it's it's not that bad when you compare it to will of ionia but a really really big deal is that yeah you're paying two mana to deny their top deck which is nice but the slow speed really really hurts this like really really hurts this quite a bit so overall there's uh there's not a lot we can do with keeper's verdict and then of course we've got we've got poppy who is man how is poppy attack grant me and all allies with equal or less power than me plus one plus one i mean like i said she's got a good floor for value she's kind of like a bannerman she'll she'll basically buff pretty much everything and she doesn't have the deck building cost of bannerman she has the deck building cost of the champ slot instead but for the most part this card is it, it, it it's gonna have a really hard time leveling she's got like an amazing floor for value but this this is the kind of card that depending on the deck it might be kind of tricky to fit in for the champ slots poppy elusives poppy is really good with like elusive kind of decks i think that is definitely going to be true like a bandle elusives and like elusives can work with demacia as well potentially i think i think i could definitely make like a poppy elusives deck i think that might end up making more sense than like an mf scouts style that i could totally see so in this case the poppy like elusives like i said um so different keywords want different things, right? That's why I was saying, someone was saying Pompous Cavalier could work in like an elusive deck. And I don't think that makes sense because elusives want to go wide and low to the ground with like a semi amount of blockers. Um, Pompous Cavalier just like wants you to stack things on a single unit. And that's really bad for how elusives want to play normally. Um, Poppy is kind of perfect. She buffs all your elusives. It's a grant and it's coming down on turn four. If you played a few cheap elusives, she can get a few really nice buffs here and she'll force a block. Like she comes out at a five, four although it is kind of sad like she's gonna have such a hard time leveling guys i've attacked with allies three times like that's kind of insane young witch yeah yeah you can use young witch on poppy that's really really not bad like young witch hitting poppy is great like it'll protect the poppy and then you get another buff again on like turn six which is well within your ranges um and even like the the fact that she is both bandle and demacia is kind of crazy because not a lot of people think of demacia as an elusive region but demacia has buffs and it has rallies and that's why like currently elusives are running demacia and elusives have run demacia a lot in the past like more than people realize um because rallies are so good with how elusives want to play because they can't get blocked and they work with a lot of temporary buffs so there are a lot of cases where you will actually do like a demacia ionia elusive deck and you could run her as a card right in, in that deck right that 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 that's a random example it doesn't even have to be ionia um but ionia currently has the best elusives in the game i'm kind of scared of uh, bandle getting bandle's getting a lot of pretty decent elusives right like even stuff like kelp maidens just having the elusive keyword for cheap is uh is really really nice but yeah that's uh that's the initial impressions uh it looks like we are yeah we're through so overall super super great cards uh 
really liking uh, where this is going. I think the card that I'm kind of most excited for is, of course, Stress Defense. These are actually pretty competitive cards overall. Like, Yordle Squire is going to be solid. Stress Defense is absolutely bonkers. Smith will work pretty well. I think these two, Pompous Cavalier has a lot of combo potential. Um, probably won't be competitive right away, but will hit some deck in the future. And Yordle Ranger uh, will probably be whiffing. But everything else, especially since Verdict is Poppy's champ spell, everything else feels like it's got potential at the very, very least. All right looks good looks good okay so uh what do you guys think <sighs> what are we getting tomorrow we're getting uh we know we're getting no probably not a champion directly tomorrow but we know we're getting both nar as well as vigar as the other two uh bandle things here seems good seems good <laughs>